The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first, as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, query results are the saved results of queries. You don't have to save the result of a query, but if you do, you will create a query result, and that can then be acted upon as a component. This video starts with a brief reminder of the different types of query available in Vivo. We then show what query results look like and where they are stored. And finally, we discuss and illustrate some of the actions that can be taken on query results. Before looking at query results, let's just have a quick review of the different types of query in Envivo. Remember that queries are the questions that we can ask of our data within an Envivo project and the work that we have done with those data. There are many types of query and they are described in Chapter 5. But hovering over the queries in the main menu here should bring up a little flag giving you a short description. Remember that this video is not about teaching you how to operate Envivo, so I'm not going to show you how to build a query. But we are going to look at a couple of query results. Query results by default are stored in this results folder. Here are a list of the query results that I've saved in this project previously. Remember that you do not have to save query results. If you run a query, you will be able to preview the results before deciding whether to save it as a query result. I'll do that now. I'm going to run this text search query, focusing on pulling out all instances of the phrase too young across selected items in my Envivo project. If I decide to save the results, then I have various choices. These choices depend on the type of query. In this example, I can choose to save the result as a new node or to merge it into an existing node. And I can choose to save the result in the results folder or somewhere else in my coding scheme. Actually, this is a potentially significant decision because there is a difference between how I can later act upon the query result depending on where I save it. If I leave it in the results folder, this one here, then I cannot change it. Meaning, for example, I can't remove any of the data from the result or indeed add any new data to it. That kind of makes sense because it's the result of a query. However, if I move or save the result into the main nodes area, then it's just like any other node, meaning that I can change what is coded as it, at it as I see fit. In fact, it's the same as all the other nodes, it's just that it's been created by running a query rather than in some other way. Whether I leave my query results in the results folder or not, they can become part of a subsequent query, and this is one way in which we can act upon them meaning we can incrementally query data in more and more detail by running new queries on the results of previous one. Many of the other actions that can be taken on query results are the same as the actions that we can take on nodes, as query results are in most instances saved nodes. Here I'm looking at the right-hand menu on a node, and when I go down to the queries area and right-click on a node here, then I get some similar actions to choose from. However, there are two key exceptions to this. First is the result of matrix query. Here are several matrix query results sitting here. Remember, matrix queries are like qualitative cross tabulations, where you are comparing one bunch of things with another. Let's just open one up. This one will do. Whether it is saved in the results folder or in the special node matrices folder in your main nodes area, which is here. I haven't got any saved there right now, but I could easily move this one into there or save it when I run the query. But it doesn't matter where the result of the matrix query is saved because it's actually comprised of multiple nodes. Each cell that has numbers in it has coded data behind it. That means that each cell in the table is like a node, but it's not retrievable outside of this query result, unless we additionally code the content within it at a separate node. We can do that, of course, because we can open up 
and retrieve the result. And then, as you know from looking at the coded references video, we can act on these coded references and do various things with them. However, in and of itself, this result of a matrix query is not one node, but comprises many nodes. The second exception is the results of a word frequency query, which cannot be saved as query results anywhere within NVivo. Let's just run one. The result we get is a long list of individual words, and behind each word are links to all the instances to that word. So if I double click, then I see that in my detail view. In addition, the results can be visualized in various ways by choosing the tabs down the side. I'll just show you the word cloud right now. The results of word frequency queries are therefore quite complex and cannot be stored all together in one place. That's not really a problem actually, because if we save the query itself, then we can rerun it at any time to retrieve the results again.